welcome to Michelle Sews again. I'm Michelle. Today is Friday, so it's another hashtag Friday Sews. So just want to give a shout out to Jen from Today in Jen's Sewing Room for starting this hashtag. If you haven't been following it, you totally should. Just do some searching in um, the YouTube search bar for hashtag Friday Sews and you'll meet all kinds of really lovely people who will tell you a little bit about what they've been sewing for the week, uh, what they have coming up, um, and a little bit about life so you get to know them a little bit. So anyway, let's jump in. Um, all right, so what have I made this week? And the answer is nothing. <laughs> um, I just haven't, uh, I've had time, um, but I just haven't, I don't know if, I, uh, it's not that I don't have my sojo. I do. It's just that I have two big projects and I think I'm a little overwhelmed in getting started. Luckily, it's a long weekend. Um, they're both big projects with deadlines, which makes them even more overwhelming. I won't do that to myself again because this whole thing is supposed to be fun and this is kind of stressing me out a little bit. So I have a pattern test, my first pattern test. I am excited about it, um, but it is a more involved project than what I'm used to working on. And then I'm also participating in Jess from So What If I Sew. Um, I am participating in her um, Instaversary um, challenge, uh, hashtag so new in June, and I'm making something for that. And I'm participating, it's a seven day challenge. She's asking you to just try something new. Um, and you can either participate one of the seven days or you can participate all seven days. And I have chosen to participate all seven days. And um, I, the whole premise of it is to try new things. So there's a prompt for every day, um, a new pattern, new fabric, um, new uh, pattern adjustment, um, new seam finishes, and new um, fastenings. And um, so I'm also doing all of that. Um, and it's a, also a more involved project than what I usually do. So I think the thought of getting started on either, either one of them has just been a little bit um, challenging for me. Anyway, but I have the whole long weekend. I'm gonna do nothing but sew. And so I'm, I, I'm glad that I have like full days that I can dedicate to it so that I can get get moving on them. And then I know once I get started, I know I'll be fine. Anyway, so the answer is I've done nothing so far this week. Um, but what's on my cutting table is the pattern test, which I actually bought actual muslin fabric because I found some on Amazon for um, less than $5 a yard. Um, and um, I was gonna use an, uh, I don't have any old sheets here. Um, when my husband and I moved, we purged um, anything we didn't need. So the only sheet sets that I have here, I actually need them, so I couldn't cut into those. And I just uh, haven't had an opportunity to get to a thrift store to buy some cheap sheets. Um, so I just ordered some muslin from Amazon. And um, so I've already got that, um, I've got that cut out. So the pattern test is ready to go and uh, I'll probably start on that tomorrow. Um, the Abby raincoat, which if you haven't, if you're following me on Instagram, you know that that was my reveal for my new pattern. So uh, for Jess's challenge, um, my new pattern is the Fiber Mood Abby jacket and I'm making it as a raincoat. And here's my fabric which I also revealed on Instagram. Um, it is this really cool holographic vinyl fabric. It's kind of like a goldy, rosy gold on one side and then a silver on the other side. So I could do it either way, but I'm definitely doing the rose gold side. Um, and it comes on this like tube, this rolled tube. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I've done quite a bit of research on um, hints and tips and um, all the things that you should do if you're sewing vinyl. So I've got a whole list of those things. Um, so I bought a walking foot, I've got leather needles, I've got 
um, a few other things. I, I don't even remember everything <laughs> that I got, but um, I am prepared to work on that project as well. Um, I will definitely be cutting pieces and doing test um, stitching and, and uh, things like that. Um, so that is on my sewing table. So uh, the things that I'm going to do, uh, so I've already mentioned the fabric, I've already mentioned the pattern. Um, the new seam finish that I'm gonna try that I've never done before is a Hong Kong bias bound seam. I found some really great directions or instructions from Closet Core Patterns, so I'm gonna be following them. Um, and it looks pretty straightforward, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I don't know if it's also straightforward on vinyl fabric, but we shall see. I bought a whole roll of bias tape, um, and I think this color will just look really cool with the, um, with the holographic vinyl. Um, and then for new fastenings, it calls for snaps. So um, I bought this snap kit, and I think what's fun is that all the snaps are different colors. So I don't know if you can see, there's, there's red, black, pink, blue, light blue, yellow, white, light pink. Uh, there might be other colors in here, I'm not sure. I don't know if I showed you the green one. Um, and then there's also just your basic silver if you wanna go that route. And it's the whole kit. So it comes with all the this, all this stuff that you need. Um, and so that will be my fastenings. Um, these, although these snaps look kind of small, I'm not, although I, I'm positive I ordered the size that were listed in the Notion, so it's gotta be the right size. Anyway, so that's what's on my cutting table and that is what I'll be doing all weekend, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday because I'm off work Monday. All right, so then moving on, um, knitting projects. I've kind of gotten bored with my sweater, so I haven't touched it. Um, I'm definitely gonna finish it. I think it's just gonna take me a little bit longer than I expected just because, um, yeah, I, I feel like um, it's turning out to be a little bit heavier than I expected it to be. And my intention was for it to be a summer weight sweater, and I'm not sure that it's light enough for that. So I'll finish it, we'll see how it goes, but um, I'm, pro I'm probably gonna take a little bit longer than I expected because I wanna, I wanna work in some things that I'm more excited to do. So that brings up uh, the like only project that I've worked on so far this week, other than cutting out my muslin for my pattern test, is I pulled out I had bags. I have a lot of project bags for knitting. So I believe I've mentioned it before. I am pretty, I'm, I'm monogamous when it comes to my sewing. I start, I do a pattern from start to finish before I start anything else. Now I have a lot of patterns and I have a lot of fabrics, but I don't cut anything out. I don't do batch cutting or any of that stuff. I cut my pattern, I trace my pattern, I cut my fabric, I sew my fabric and then I move on to the next one. I might have a hem hanging out there, but for the most part, I, I do a, a project from start to finish. My knitting has been a different story. I will start something, I get bored with it, I put it away, I start something else. So I had a ton of project bags that all had partially started projects. And so, I was like, let me, I went through and I organized my sewing room. So I took all of my, um, what do you call them? In the cubbies, the baskets that fit in the cubbies. I took all of those out because those all had yarn in them. I decluttered a bunch. I'm, I'm going to box a lot of it up and ship it to my cousin because she cro crochets. And then what was left, I organized by, by yarn weight which it was organized by color, which makes no sense because you have to knit. If you're gonna mix yarns, they've gotta be in the same weight. So I reorganized them and put them by yarn weight and then decided to take all of my unfinished projects 
sort them out, go through them, figure out what they were. Did I want to keep doing them or not? Um, my husband's in the background. Um, did I want to keep working on them or not? So I took every one of them out. I had 11 UFOs. <laughs> um, so I took each one out. Most of them didn't have like a pattern or anything. And I realized that I was just starting things and kind of making them up as I went. Most of which would have been a scarf or um, a poncho or something like that, which I can do without a pattern. Um, but I wasn't excited about any of them anymore. Um, so out of 11 projects that were half started, not even halfway, they were partially started, I frogged all but one of them. So for you non-knitters, frogging means that I unraveled it all. I took it and it was all nice yarn. It was all yarn I wanted to keep. So I just rolled it back up into a ball and put it back in my stash. Um, but there was one project that I wanted to keep and I wanted to, I want to finish. However, and, and I lo I'm like so in love with this project. I really, uh, now that I pulled it back out, I'm excited to get it going again. The problem is I, when I pulled it out, I remembered why I stopped working on it. It is um, the Fabulous Abacus Shawl by West, I can't remember the designer name. It's West something. I'll put it at the bottom here. Um, and it is the, it's the most beautiful like multicolor shawl. And you put these big, huge tassels on like the point and the edges and the way that you wrap it around your neck, the tassels are hanging in the front. It just looks awesome. When I pulled it out, I remembered why I stopped working on it. And I had gotten more than halfway through and I'll put a picture up, um, of how much progress I had. Um, it calls like the way that you knit it there's sections with little eyelets so little holes that are on purpose so you know it's a yarn over and then you you know you um, drop the yarn over on your next pass i didn't do it right i don't know and i started this a few years ago and i haven't picked it up in probably two years and mine were just a mess and um on the second half because you you knit it from point to point and then there's like a a wedge like it it's straight on one side and then like this on the other. And once I got past the halfway point, I, I don't know, I wasn't decreasing right or something because that half was wider than the bottom half. And it was, it was kind of a hot mess. And I'm so excited about this yarn and the final project that um, I finally decided it's gonna be worth it to me just to rip it all out and start from scratch. So that's what I did. I spent a couple of hours one night this week unraveling the whole thing. Um, and surprisingly, it didn't break my heart to do it. I thought that it would, but I'm so excited to do it the right way that um, that it didn't bother me. So um, yeah, I'll put a picture of the, um, the sample shawl that got me excited about doing the project in the first place. And then I'll put a, pro a photo of... Um, mine and how far I had gotten so you can see what my color combinations are because I think they're just I think they're gorgeous um all right so that's it for knitting so I do have some new frat new fabric to show you and um more than I should for a month where I said I wasn't going to buy any fabric but you know it is what it is all right so I I've already showed you the holographic vinyl that piece and this next piece, I didn't feel guilty about because they were both for a good cause. That one was to participate in Jess's challenge for her one year Instaversary. And this one is for my pattern test. So I had put several fabric options up on Instagram and asked everybody to vote. I put five, five options up and I liked all of them. So I was like, let me just let somebody else choose for me and I'll go with whatever somebody chooses because I like them all so I couldn't go wrong. This fabric came out number one and it's a can't all of the fabrics were canvas um, because that's what the pattern calls for and it's just this really cool like white and blue um, kind of almost it's almost like a shibori tie-dye I would say um, 
but it's, you know, this uneven uh, stripe thing going on. And I thought that would look really cool for the project that I'm working on. So I'm excited about that. I got um, four yards of that because that's how much I need for the project. Um, but the one thing, well, I'll come to that in a minute. All right. So then this, the next fabric that I got was the number two option. It was actually my favorite. So I went ahead and bought it anyway, even though I'm not going to use it for the project that everybody voted on. I just thought that it was something that suited me very well. So um, if you know me and you know how much I love color, then you'll know why I got this one. So it looks like paint splatters um, on a white background. And I think that'll just, it'll make something fun. I don't know what yet, um, but I'm excited to use it. Then these next four pieces I got from Spoonflower. They were having a sale and um, I don't know if you under, if you know how Spoonflower works, but there are designers who upload their patterns. You pick the pattern. You can get it printed on any substrate of fabric that you want. You can get it printed on wallpaper. Um, they have a lot of different um, things that you can print the patterns on. And there's a the woman who designed the fabric that I used for my Nova Midi dress. You know that really great painterly floral dress that I have. Um, I really, I like everything she designs. So I went through when I saw that they had a sale and I went through her designs and I actually had um, quite a few of them in my favorites. And so I decided to get a few of hers because I just, they make me happy. So out of the four fabrics, I have a plan for three of them. This is not one of them. <laughs> this one I just thought was super fun. It's very colorful. Um, it's got these, it's just like painterly polka dots, I guess, is the best way to describe it. And all four of these I got in there, they've got a beta fabric going on, which I assume means they're just testing it right now. And they're doing a cotton lawn, which they, was not an option before. Um, I've never had a cotton lawn. I've heard about people talking about it on YouTube. I didn't know what it really was. Um, I, For some reason, I expected it to be drapier than it is. Um, but really, in my opinion, if this is a typical cotton lawn, which I have no idea if it is or not, it's just more of a very lightweight poplin, really, in my opinion, because it's it's very like shirting like. Um, it's like a th like a thin cotton sheet almost. I think would be a good way to describe it. Which you know, I didn't know what to expect. I'm not unhappy with it. Um, I just for some reason expected it to be drapier, but I. It's just, it's, it's happiness on fabric. <laughs> so I don't know what that one will be yet. We shall see. Um, all right, so these next three are going to be a, ho a style arc hope dress, um, which I haven't made yet. Um, and I'm going to color block. So I got, Uh, two yards of this one, this turquoise background with these really beautiful flowers. And I got one yard of each of the other ones. So one yard of the white background and one yard of the yellow background. So these two are going to go on the top. Actually, I don't know if the hope is going to be the right one. I'm not sure about the dress. But whatever dress, it's, they're going to be a dress. And it might even be, I might do the, I think I'm going to do the I Am Sherazad dress. Yeah, I'm just going to do a longer version than I did last time. And these two will be on the top. And this one will be on the bottom. How freaking gorgeous is that going to be? <laughs> I'm so excited about that. That's going to be the first thing I make when I'm done with my two committed projects. Okay, um, okay, so coming back to the muslin pattern test. 
I bought that blue and white fabric to make my pattern test with, but I've been binge watching tie dye YouTube tutorials. And I don't want to do just like a basic, you know, you scrunch it up and you throw dye in there. That's not what I want to do. I'm going to post some pictures up here and I'll put the names of some of the people that I've really been like binge watching. Um, I want to do like just a really cool pattern. So if by luck, my muslin turns out to be a decent fit, then I might just do a tie dye on the muslin and save that blue and white stripe for something else. I might not be lucky enough that my muslin fits and I might have to like, you know, tweak that up and get the fit right so that I can't wear that one and I have to make the blue one. But I kind of hope that it fits really well so that I can just tie dye it and call that a day. We'll see. I already have all my materials for all my, yeah, materials for tie dyeing. I've got um, some uh, dye, I've got tubs, I've got racks, I've got plastic gloves, I've got a drop cloth. I'm ready for the tie dye. It's gonna be cool. All right, um, that's about it sewing wise. Um, life wise, there's not a whole lot going on. Um, I've not been doing much this week. Uh, after you know, I get done with work just been visiting with my husband while we eat dinner and watch TV. Um, and I think we've gone to bed early a few nights. Um, the only other thing is uh, we have a hurricane headed this way. Um, hopefully it downgrades before it gets here or it chooses another path. But I mean, hurricane season just started and we already have one coming. So I'm not too thrilled about that. I don't think from from all indications it doesn't look like it's going to be terrible but who wants that so we're working on getting prepared for that getting our water making sure we have flashlights and all that fun stuff that's about it so wherever you are i hope you're having a great day i hope the weather's beautiful where you are it's not here in miami it's very rainy and overcast i hope you're able to get in some sewing and that you have a really fabulous holiday weekend um and if you have anything that you found interesting in what I had to say today, I hope that you will like and subscribe to my channel, ring the notification bell, and please share your com share in the comments. I love interacting with you guys in the comments, so I'd love to hear from you on anything that I might have mentioned today. Thanks again. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.